Go ahead, this is still in 3.5, where the practice problems will be. And unlike with equations, I, where some of you guys had some confusion about when it's all real numbers or no solutions, I think because of the number line and graphing with these, they become really visually obvious. As um, I hope that, that makes sense when we get going with these. Because picture on a number line, if all real numbers were possible to answer it, you would have a line crossing what? Everything. And if no solutions are possible, is there anything on the number line you'd be able to graph? Okay, so let's take a look at what that would look like. Here is an example. X plus 5 is greater than or equal to X plus 3. We're going to subtract X from both sides. It's going to cancel it out from what? Both sides. That's leaving 5 is greater than or equal to 3. Well, it already broke. That's, that's not well, that's true. It is true, though. Well, it isn't. But it's, but it can't, five can't be equal to 3. It is greater oh, than it is true. But it doesn't say it has to be greater than and equal to. It says greater than or, or equal to. Or. That means that this is true and all real numbers are the solution. So let's go back to our original. There is nothing I can put in for x that's going to make this not be true. Let's try. If I put in negative 3 for x, I'm just making up a number, anything from the number line. We're pulling anything from the number line that could possibly make this equation true. What does that mean? We can plunk them in for x, and the inequality is still going to work. What is negative 3 plus 5? 2. 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Is that true? Yes. Give me another number. 5. 5. <laughs> we can do pi next. 5 plus 5 is greater than or equal to 5 plus 3. 5 plus 5 is 10. Is greater than or equal to 8. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything from the number line that we want to put in here will still make this inequality true. Pi. Why not? Pi. We'll round it to 3.14. No, no, I one pi. Oh, At least one pi. Yeah. Okay, 3.14 plus 5 is going to be 8.14. 3.14 plus 3 is going to be 6.14. Is that a true inequality? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the thing is we don't have to graph these because we're just saying everything on the number line is Wait. true for x. Wait, what if for x you do infinity? Infinity is not a number. It's, 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 it's a concept that things go on and on <laughs> and on. But you can do infinite x. Okay, let's try another example. Infinite plus With five infinity? Is the same as infinite plus three. Wait, but x minus no. two is greater than <laughs> x plus one. I always like to just get rid of the x and see if the numbers make sense with the inequality, if it's possible to do that. Yeah. Okay? Negative 2 is less than 1. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. That means if I go back to my original inequality, every single number on the number line would make this inequality true. This infinity is it really on so all real numbers. <laughs> is that easier to understand than when we first did this with equations? Yes. yes. Because you can just read the inequality. If you can move the variable out, which you usually can, is it true? It's a fraction. 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 It's a fraction.
Let's try this. We get to distribute with this one. 2 times x plus 3 is less than 5 plus 2x. So the first thing we have to do is distribute that 2. Are you making these up or are they from the book? I'm taking it from the book. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to move this 2x to the left. And when I do that, look, it's going to get rid of our x's. Yeah. And we're going to have x6 is less than 5. Is that true? No. That means it's there is no number I can put in for x that is going to turn this into a correct equation or um, inequality. Mm -hmm. That means that there are no solutions. So thinking back to that number line, there is nothing on the number line that we can put into this e inequality for x and make it become true. 6 will always be greater than 5. Yes? Um, so, like, this one that we did, uh, when there's all real numbers, uh, and it says that it's, like, either greater than and, uh, or equal to, like, just basically, like, a multiple choice question, it has to be one of them. So your question is on this one, where it has greater than or equal to, this is still true because 5 is greater than 3. This inequality symbol is saying 5 can either be greater than or it can be equal to 3. But 5 can never be equal to 3. 5 is not equal to 3, but it's an or. So if this had ended up with 3 is greater than or equal to 3, it still would have been true. Because 3 isn't greater than 3, but it only fits the requirement that it's equal to 3. So it has to fit one of those two things. Either it's greater than or it's equal to. It can't be both things. Okay? Someone on that? Question? No. Okay, let's move on. 4 times y minus 1 is greater than or equal to. Thank you, 4y plus 2. And just looking at this, I can already see what's going to happen. Yep. We're going to end up with this 4 being a negative, and this 2 is what? Positive. And negatives are never greater than or equal to positives. But let's go see what happens. We get 4y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 4y plus 2. Mm -hmm. Remove that whole 4y and we end up with negative 4 is greater than or equal to 2 and that is impossible so we say it has no solutions. There's nothing we can put in for y that would make this come out better than this and true. Okay. So there are a few practice problems for this. We're starting on page 199, and remember we are still in 3.5. Uh, the problems you're going to practice for this are going to be 14 to 19. And then we're going to turn the page and do just a few more. 33 to 38.